good evening. I have, we have got two guests, of course. It is a Stamp Addicts, which mm -hmm. are one of the companies that well, I have known for years and years and years and years. Sarah and Vicky, hello. hello. How are you doing? Good. Yeah. How are you? I'm very good. I love your jumper. Thank you. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, we love it. I mean, I love your shirt as well, of course, the beautiful <laughs> colors. But of course, we like the capelets yes. kind of sort of <laughs> like to it. Now, of course, uh, we, we have got all brand new stamps in the show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We do. So are we going to see demos from both of you? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So which one do we need to send that first? Would that would be yeah. Yeah. All right. so, so we keep Sarah with okay. us. And of course, uh, we'll see you back in, in a little bit. Now, of course, at the first stamp that we are going to have a look is the one that we have got in the screen. Oh, isn't it cute? So cute. Stamp Addicts, of course, is a company with years of experience. Yes. Yeah, mm, too many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> lots and lots, lots and lots. What you do is such a, like, I love how you sort of, you know, you to work with an artist mm -hmm. and bring super high quality rubber stamps. Now, of course, we are going to show the uh, actual stamp. Look how detailed it is. It's absolutely stunning. Of course, it is designed by Sherry West. It is, it? yes, Sherry West who's our American designer. Oh, <laughs> so she, um, she might be watching? Uh, I think she might be, yes. Uh, yeah, and the design team as well, yes. Because uh, maybe uh, we are on Facebook Live, so she might be watching on Facebook. If anybody else is watching on Facebook, hello. Uh, do it, you know. Dave is watching, Brick. <laughs> I hope that's well done. Uh, hello to everyone. Heather, uh, we are so happy that you are watching through Facebook. And uh, if you have got any questions for uh, Sarah or Vicky or myself, please do email us in or uh, through Facebook. Uh, now, of course, I'm going to show you a few samples of the gorgeous... Oh, no. Jessie with a jar. Jessie. <laughs> I love that. Jessie with a jar. Now, of course, what's in the jar? Well, that could be a picture on the jar. Oh, And I then see. you can put things in it, because obviously we wouldn't condone putting bugs in jars. Well, of course, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, kind of just kind of vibe kind of there. <laughs> there. But, you know, so I think it's a sticker on the jar. So uh, you put yes. your favourite okay, things yeah, in the jar. That, that yeah. makes a lot of sense, of course. Yeah. No. And look at that. Oh, she's just like this. <laughs> Me, but maybe, maybe that, you know, maybe that. She's saving it. Yeah, I think it's she's it's, saving it's it. It's injured, so she's saving it. Flu yeah. You know, there is a, a mo I don't know still if it's a moth or a butterfly. I think it's a butterfly in my, in my uh, living room. Uh -huh. And she just lives there. Every time I take her outside, she comes back. I don't know yeah. what she's An indoor one. Yeah. Innocent indoor <laughs> one. 220578 is your item number. £11.99 for a clean form mounted a stamp now of course uh, following that theme of clean for mounted stamps I'm kind of just going to show you that oh isn't that glorious a uh, detail and there you have it also designed by Cherry West isn't it? yes so this is Harmony so you can see she's got some big wings mm. so she could be a fairy or an angel or she's just dressed up or you could mask the wings and then yeah. you're not using mm -hmm. wings exactly, so you can yeah I love her <laughs> I absolutely love her but and I, it's, it's I, and I also think that this is quite, is, is, is it realistic sort of fairy, if you know what I mean? You yeah, know what as, as, as real as fairies get. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> it's, just like kind of, I, it's kind of a little girl at it the is. same time. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's not, sometimes fairy, and I love that kind of, oh, can I have uh, chocolate, please? <laughs> a little bit more, please, more chocolate. Oh, heartfelt. Always more chocolate. <laughs> yeah, of course, always chocolate. Uh, and then, oh, look at that, gorgeous in there. So lots of alcohol pens and different colouring techniques. Yes. It depends on what mm -hmm. you would like to use, yes. right? So, And I love how it looks with alcohol pens. And of course, the detail is on the stamp. The Sam Addicts Harmony Cling Rubber Stamp 40669 is your item number, £11.99. Now we have got the vintage anglers. Anglers? Anglers, yes, Anglers. fishermen. Oh, of course. <laughs> I was thinking, vintage anglers, yeah, of course. Fishermen. So this ah. one's by Terry Sherman. Yeah. Our Scottish designer. Which is, yeah. you know, amazing. Yeah. You know, you have got such an international team. Yeah. From across <laughs> the pond and across the, you know, is it, what is it, the Pennines? No, not Pen what, what is between here and Scotland? Is that, you know, <laughs> a lot of nothing? I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> lots of like <laughs> the Adrian's wall as well. Uh, anyways, yeah, lakes, rivers, bridges, and so much. Of course, look at that. I love, love this stem. Alcoholic like, backgrounds. Yes, of course. Yeah. Now, of course, you could use your dis dis uh, distress, distress oxide. Yeah, that's it. This is a technique that I love that when you do that. Stamp it with the distress and then yeah. move it with the water brush. Now, I have to say, this is actually <laughs> my favorite. Shrink plastic. But it looks like a painting. And also, if you, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but where Vicky's colored on the back of the shrink, yeah. it kind of gives it a 3D, because yeah. you've got the black on the front, but the blue on the back. Yeah. So you can see it in the depth. That's amazing. I love that. And of course, there are different ways of coloring in as well, that distress ink and blending that. And that one as well. Gorgeous. The Vintage Anglers stamp. Of course, it is a clean foam mounted rubber stamp. 758342 is your item number. £13.99 is your uh, price. Now, we have got some backgrounds here for you. <gasps> love, 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 love this one. Yes, it's a nice lace. big large, but it's like um lace, isn't it? Is, it? Yeah, that's what it is. It's lace. This is a stunning, and of course that is cling foam mounted, but a stamp and emboss. Yeah, so you look at the packaging and it looks quite strong and heavy, but then when you use it, obviously you can use it in so many different ways. It looks like proper lace. Yes. Yeah. It, it, it's it's just because sometimes when you do it in you know laser stamps, you, they look lace, but they don't look like something that is it's supposed not really to look lace. But this yes. looks proper yeah. lace, and this is a stamp and emboss. But look at that! In so I that's just, just stamped in uh, wilted violet oxide. Yeah. That's it. Gorgeous! How quick and easy, and mm. it's very ethereal and feminine yeah. as well. I think with the green one there, Vicky spritzed it before yeah. she stamped it. But then that so kind gives of gives you this look. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the distress. And I, I love, and also I love the size. Is this an A5 sort of size? Like a it's not quite. Okay. It's it, yeah. It's bigger than A6, yeah. but not quite A5. Five A7 sort of size. Yeah. Sort of a little bit bigger, I would imagine. But look at that. And of course, that means that you can trim pieces of it uh, and you know cut it into different sizes. Three eight seven six five six is your item number. Twelve pounds and ninety nine pence is your price. Now the next uh, item you. You are, you are getting both of these stamp sets, of course, well, or stamps, and it's the beautiful rose. Is that the demo one that we are going to be seeing? Uh, we'll be using all of the stamps today. <gasps> Ooh, excellent! So. <laughs> excellent! I love, I love roses. It's my favorite flower. And you can see that red, of course, oh, Valentine's at the next week. And some and gold shrink plastic. That's gorgeous. Look, I've got, oh, there's shrink plastic, yeah. sorry. Yeah, I'm not going to quickly, but I love that idea of, say, if we, you know, the kind border. of yeah, creating a border. And of course, what colour uh, rose is your favourite then? I had yellow ones at my wedding. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. But they're all nice. They are all yeah. beautiful, yeah. aren't they? And of course, a little. Is More that shrink. a spring one? Yeah. Oh, it's a spring one. <laughs> if you want to. Yeah, it is a spring one. I say, so be my Valentine's. And I'll do shrink it out. No. Uh, 563606 <laughs> is uh, the item number for both uh, rose uh, stamps. £12.49 uh, is your price plus PMP. If you are not a Freedom member, of course, you pay the PMP. If you're a Freedom member, you don't pay PMP. Now, of course, we have got more items on the show I believe if on the website so you can see them on the uh, there on the website everything we have got also pick a mix of words of sentiments if you want to have a look at those ones by all means do that but if you have got um, you know that string plastic you have got the option for that we have got that uh, string plastic in metallic which I believe you are getting four of the silver and four of the gold and then also you have got the option to go for eight of the clear ones or translucent and that a uh, masking tape the eclipse masking tape is an extraordinary masking tape you are getting 10 meters in there and it's quite tall as well so I think it's about is it six inches uh, in, the in the height uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sounds, sounds. Mm -hmm. So uh, you are getting 10 meters by 15 centimeters, something like that. Uh, so there is a lot you can do with them. Uh, and I love it. It's one of those products that you use constantly. It you? really is. And I've got my mask already cut out here. Mm. So all you need to do is unroll, yeah. stick it down to your table, yeah. stamp out the dis whatever you want to make the mask from. Yeah. And then when you cut it out, you can see, hopefully on mine, yeah. there's no edges. I've yeah. taken off that outside edge. Why is that? Because of when you then put this over your design and stamp again, yeah. you don't get a little shadow gap. 
Yeah, so you want to cut it that, a yeah, bit shallow, closer. Yeah. You'll see yeah. as we um, start to stamp these out and use okay. the mask. So we're going to create a whole background yeah. just using the roses. Okay. So let's get this nicely inked. Get, so the roses. Remember, you are getting the you are getting two. You are getting the large one and the smaller rose, of course, in there. And then yes. There we go. Get pressed down. Oh, there perfect, we go. Yeah. So that's the first one. So we're going to yeah. grab one of these masks. Um, and, and then, of course, the eclipse it, it stays uh, low tack tape, uh, low tack uh, sticky, but for a long time, doesn't it? It does. That's why I just. I mean, this is shrink, sh shrink plastic, yeah. so you could just stick it on a piece of acetate yeah. or anything plastic and keep it. Oh, yeah. that's perfect. Yeah. So you can actually see the outline mm. that I stamped. Mm -hmm. So you want to see that so that you don't get a gap in between okay. the next step. So I'm going to go with the large mm. rose again. Um, Okay, we'll just overlap it a little bit there. Okay, yeah. Okay, so again, we're going to cover that one. We're going to fill the whole page. Yeah. The whole page with a beautiful flower. And I love that masking technique because then it means that they, you have got like a proper bunch of flowers, right? You do. And you, so you're going to see that first one, the yeah. whole flower. Yeah. And the others will be behind. So this yeah. time I'm using the small. So I'm going to make sure I get one complete flower there, so it stands forward. Yeah. Then we'll get more around it. So now, mm -hmm. now, of course, the uh, do you have used a different colour ink in for the masking, haven't you? That is that kind of a brown sepia tone or oxide or yeah. ink? Whichever ink you have to hand, really. Yeah. Okay. Um, but I tend to try not to use the black, just so you can see the pattern. Ah, right. as That's I a very good tip. As I stamp over with the black. They'll yeah. just start to use, lose the pattern, so you have to just use, use the outer yeah. edge of it. Uh, so yeah. let's go some small flowers on this side. Yeah. And mask that one yeah. again. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think we can go another large okay. over this side. Okay. Fill some of the space. Yeah. And yeah. uh, just to let you know that the Eclipse are a masking tape roll uh, 10 meters in total. You, I think it's about 15 centimeters in height. So it goes a long, long way. Uh, the details are at the bottom of the screen. Nine, 19 pounds and 99 pounds for uh, the roll. Mm, there we go, goes that way. So and it's, it's one of those ones that I, you know, I think I purchased a long time ago and it keeps on going, keeps on going. Also, I use sometimes, I use mm -hmm. like to tear it a, a bit as a low tack tape for securing my dies into. Yeah, it's great you know, for your dies, yeah. it really so you can is. You never damage yes. it, even if you put it. And then, of course, you can, I also put it onto, um, you know, remove a. The backing of a, sh uh, a sticker sheet or something like that, mm -hmm. and then die cut it. And because it's paper, it die cuts really easily. Yeah. And then you can just uh, have blended into uh, like a stencil, like you know, like yeah, like your own stencil. Yeah, yeah, yeah that but works. Yes. There are so many different ways. Is, is this one of those products that if you have been stamping for a while, while you will know it. It's one of those key products. I, I love it. It's, it's one of the. It's one of those staples that you need to have in your stash, I think. It is, stamper. yes. Once you've used it, you, you always just go yeah. to grab that and yeah. to do your masking and things, yeah. And you use one of the shrink plastic um, yes. <laughs> to keep them in. <laughs> yeah, get them all nice and flat for today. Yeah. But usually I'll put them on the sheet with yeah. the stamps. That's a very good tip. If, yeah. I've got, if you've got a laminated yeah. sheet that you keep them on, yeah. then yeah, just put them on there. Keep them with it with the wood block stamps. So I used to keep them on the wood side. Yeah. So. Mm. There we go. Right, so we get to reveal now. Let's see. Keep ah, all those. Yeah. So you can see now you're losing the pattern on there. Yeah. But that's fine. You can just keep using could it. Could you, if if you had them like this, for instance, before you remove mm -hmm. them, could you colour that and then colour the next one up? Sure. So then you can create. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. You could colour yeah. them all different. Yeah. So that you can use. Yeah. Can these ones off. So you can see we've got a complete yeah. flower there. Wow, and yeah. the rest are just hiding behind. How is this, you know, like 
I, I just think it's, it's there amazing. There we go. Nice. Look at that. Look, look at that. And I love that top tip of cutting it really close to the edge. Well, inside the edge. So you get no gapping whatsoever. Yeah. And that's one of the, uh, the other good reasons about mm -hmm. this masking tape. That it's really thin. Yeah, yes. it's very thin. Yeah, it's a thin paper with exactly. just a low tack on the back. Yes. But it's all over as well. So there mm -hmm. is no la that lifting of the part. You know, yeah. if you're using a sticky note, mm. sometimes it's just on one side. So if you don't stand carefully, you may not have a sticky note all of it. Yeah. yeah, they only have a little bit on them, don't they? So I'm just going to leave that to the side. Yeah. Okay. And next, we're going to use our silver shrink plastic. Oh yeah, we do have got we have got an option. I think that one comes with four sheets of the silver and four sheets of the gold. Yes, gold and silver. Yeah. Yes. I have. I don't think I have seen a gold and silver shrink plastic. It's been a while oh. since I have. Mm. There's no colouring required. Yeah, no, ah, absolutely. Oh, that stays on ink. The, the almond smell. smell. <laughs> Love that the smell. <coughs> okay. There you okay. Go. So I'm using ah, a stays on yeah. so that it dries nice and quickly. Yeah, so I'm going to do one large. On. I know some people don't like it, but I, I absolutely adore stays on. It's really good when you're going on to shrink plastic. Yeah. And yeah, yeah any yeah. sort of surfaces that are shiny, it'll dry pretty Do you quick. need to let, did you let them dry before you cut them around? Or? Yeah, I'd give it a minute or two just yeah. to make sure it is dry. Yeah. And there yeah. we go. Let's see if this one is dry. That's my but it is very important not to uh, to cut. Well, basically, you need to let them dry, then cutting them, and then heat uh, drying them. Yes, don't heat set. Do not heat set. <laughs> yeah, because if you heat set, then it's going to. Yeah, shrink. we always get asked this yeah. one. So trimming these, I leave a little border around yeah. the edge. You don't need to go very close. You're using the proper squeezers. I yeah, this is this is what I use for most things. Yeah. So whichever scissors you like, but these yeah. ones work for me. My sister doesn't like them, yeah. but I do. Yeah, well, it's it's you know, everyone's everywhere's yep, different. Exactly, um, everyone. I have got a enormous are that enormous amount of scissors, and I kind of realised that one of my favourite scissors, I lost them. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. I did lose these. My son borrowed these and lost them for months. So I had to get another pair. Mm. And then I finally found them again. Mm. So I have more than one. Mm. OK, so we're nearly there. There we go. Right. And so then you This trim is the fun it. bit. Oh, yeah. So this heat gun's quite slow. It doesn't yeah. blast yeah. as long as the, um, like the long ones yeah. do. So you might need to hold them a bit further yeah. away. Or you can always pop it in the oven. Yeah. There's instructions yeah. on the pack so you know how to oh, I love tell it. you what, how long, what temperature. Oh, 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 is it going, oh. Sometimes, like for a flower, it looks quite nice when it has got that dimension as well. It does. I'm going to try and leave them a little bit of shade. Now, if, it, if you stop now, would it draw, would it save that shape? Yes. Okay. It would just go hard, but you can reheat it and, and bend and it bend once it, yeah. it's soft again. But once that is shrinks, it doesn't come big again, no? No, it won't go big again. No, it just goes so. down. Come on, turn over. There we go. It's kind of bending in the wrong direction, so I'm just going to quickly push oh. that. It's quite warm. Ah, so you can keep While it. While it's warm, yeah. you can just bend it a little bit. It's cooled down now, so and it's And if you hard. want it completely flat, do you have any chop tips on how? Oh, if you want it flat, just use a, an acrylic block yeah. just to press it gently. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to go too hard yeah. and squash it. Yeah. I'm going to pop mm. that one aside and then we've got a couple of little ones. So that was, let me show you how, uh, so if I put them in there here, that's a large one. And oh, look, look how gorgeous with the metallic from the shrink plastic comes out. It's just gorgeous. Look at that. Ooh. And of course you're doing now the smaller flowers. Yeah, this is the smaller of them. So is it about you know, 40% of the size or something like that, the shrink plastic? Yes, yeah, about that, yeah. 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 You know what a friend of mine did, and she loved. It, she used to do a lot of shrink plastic. So she do cut a piece of uh, a shrink plastic, and she would do that for every every different type of uh, shrink plastic. Draw on a with a, a ruler. ruler. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Draw the mark, and then shrink yeah. it up. So she would know mm -hmm. how big she had to start off the piece. Like so, if yeah. you wanted how much it would shrink. Yes. Yeah, so if you measure it with your regular ruler, yeah. then you can look at your shrink one and see how small it's going to yeah. go. Yep, 
<laughs> you should, and if you do that, you should do it with all different brands because oh, yeah. they do shrink Absolutely. at different rates. Now, some if of you're them. served like this, can you imagine pouring a little bit of embossing powder in there or something like that? That would you be could amazing. Do. That would be fun. Yeah. I'm just going to heat it from the back just to get rid of that little bit. Yeah. Or uh, maybe like, um, yeah. Little gem in the middle. Yeah, a gem in the middle. Yeah, a yeah, sparkle in there yeah. would be nice, wouldn't it? So we've got our three flowers there. So that one's got a nice little shape to it. Okay, so I've got some card to mount this on. Um, uh, I've got a little bit of Martin and Larry. Yeah. I love, I love this. It's just, it's such a beautiful flower, the rose, and of course it is. So many, like so many pe different people, is their favorite flower. Uh, you know, like um, our um, producer's grandma, mm -hmm. I think yeah. it is. Uh, her name is Rosa. Uh -huh. uh, Rosa, Rose, Rose. Uh, mm, I remember one of our friends, uh, Sandra, mm, who is now in America. Uh, uh, he, uh, his gra both his grandmothers were Rosas, which oh. is uh, Italian or and Spanish for Rose as well. Yeah, our grandma was a Rose. Yeah. And uh, I've actually done a little shrink plastic tag here with some words on as well. Uh, of course, the sentiment are part of a mixture. So I've got in here. Uh, so you can have, there you can see the different stuff. You can choose two. Uh, there are different options. There are some Christmas, but there are some that are, of course, all year round. Um, now, of course, you have got all those ones that are the Christmas app, but then we have got a happy birthday. Uh, that applies to many people. Um, it's scientifically proven that people who are have more birthdays live there. I love that one. <laughs> <That's> great, <isn't laughs> it? Yeah. And of course, you have uh, the scripted pen as well perfect for backgrounds as well remember you pick and choose whichever two are your favorite for 13 pounds and 98 pence and this so is the beautiful look at that and that's one of the options that you can so any sentiment you mm -hmm. can just rank it in size yep. and it still is perfectly legible yes yeah that still works yeah as long as you've that's got a nice bold beautiful. writing on there i think it's there it's the gold version over yeah. there as well. I think there is the gold a gold shrink as yeah, well. That's a really so you can see both the gold yeah. and the silver together Look there. at that. So yeah. because you're getting four sheets of the gold and four sheets of the silver, the, uh, at the bottom of the screen they will appear the details for that string plastic. I really love the gold as well. So you remember you're getting both the gold and the silver in that bundle. And if you want to go for the vintage rose, the details are on the left of your screen. Now, of course, uh, we have got other items on the show, including those bending tools, blending tools, not bending tools. <laughs> uh, of course, you have got uh, in there, you have got the, I love the disc that you have got that velcro uh, or lip and hoop uh, you know sorts of mechanisms so you can hold all the different colors in there and then you have got the tools on the other side which is perfect we also have got a tool a storage as well so MDF which we have got it's like a t really lovely holder as well and I love it because you can see them what exactly color you're gonna get 12.99 and you're getting two which will hold I think is it eight of them Two, four, three, eight. Yes. Eight. Yep. Uh, <laughs> eight, correctly, yeah. Of course, twelve ninety nine for them. So, and then last one, but not least, a stamparama. Yes. Seven eight. If you want to get your ticket for that, it's six eight uh, next Friday, uh, next Sunday, and uh, some companies that are going to be there. Maybe uh, Stamp Alex, you are going to make yes. and take. Yes, we are. We don't know what yet, but well, <laughs> Yannis is going to make an appearance as he well. Is, yes. Yannis, yeah, of course, Hobby Art, Sweet Puppy Stencils, Joe Channon, Daisy B Crafts, Crafty Roo Designs is going to mean do another um, make and take. Uh, Crafty Play. Uh, so there is Honey Duke, uh, Crafts as well. Oh, there's so many. Dolly. Uh, yeah, there's yes, so many. Yeah. Quite a few. And it's only it's two fifty if you buy the ticket in advance. So that's I mean, fabulous. Cardio is going to be there, <laughs> and Sam K as well. It is going to be there. So fabulous. Okay. Okay. So I'm using the lace background, okay. and the this is a clear embossing ink pad. Mm -hmm. Now there is a lot of detail on this now. Uh, yeah. Okay. Like so hence the hingy thing. Uh huh. The hingy thing. The hingy thing. Yeah. The hingy thing. From all the stuff, you know, this stamp thing. Yeah. The hingy yeah. thing. Yeah. Well, well it is. This, what the press to me is the one with sponge feet. Oh, I see. So, so the everyone one calls them something different. Yeah. So if you well, I think this one is the Crafts 2 one. It is. So it is called uh, Press to Impress. Press to Impress, yeah. Yes. 
That's mm. what it's called. But yeah. I can never remember that. Yeah. Well, you did now. And <laughs> yeah, I, didn't, I did. Yeah. I know. Yeah. A son like me. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the hingy thing and the sponge feet. Yeah. Those okay. are the, <laughs> the spongy thingy. Well, yeah. at least it's not like Leone. <laughs> Leone goes like, eh, can you to do that? that? And you can't see that. Yeah. yeah. My verse mark's quite dirty. Oh. So you can just see yeah. a little bit, Perfect. but because there's so much detail, okay. I will stamp it two or three times mm -hmm. before it dries. Okay. Usually I would have this on a lower table yeah. when, when I stand up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> More pressure. More pressure. Yeah. Oh, oh, perfect. Yes. Perfect. So we can pop that out and we're going to put white powder on it. The thing is with those, those stamp presses or, or platforms, I find it that if you have got a more rigid, um, stable table, usually it's yes. better. But this one is a little bit squishy. It, it does bend a bit, doesn't it? It does bend, yeah, it's a bendy <laughs> counter. I don't know if that sounds all right, but oh, look at the weight and bossing powder. Into there, yeah. Uh, yeah, and a little bit extra. Okay. So you can't really see a lot at the minute because yeah. it's white on white. Yep. Yeah. It's like a wedding dress, isn't it? It's just beautiful. I didn't have any lace on mine. Well, I didn't have on my dress, but I had a veil, so... Uh, no, mm. I didn't bother. <laughs> yeah, I so, uh, mm. I didn't go very modern, but I didn't do a veil. Um, so, we're melting the powder, so then we can add the colour afterwards, like some of the samples you showed. Yeah. yeah. You've got the lace, which yeah. is often white. Yeah but then with colour behind it, because people tend to lay them over a different fabric, don't they? Mm. But it just makes for a nice, soft, subtle background. Mm -hmm. Especially with the girls, Jessie and Harmony, because they have so much detail. You don't mm. want to uh, detract mm. from that too much. Okay. Obviously, mm. a big stamp takes a while. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's one of those things that I can watch air all day long. Now, uh, now of course we can see that once I will, it will, um, you know, yeah, be completely done. I think that like one was actually an alcohol ink background that Vicky had left over, oh. and then she just stamped it on the top. This is quick and easy, but it's just beautiful. Because she was sitting there playing with alcohol inks for a few hours, yeah. which got quite stinky. <laughs> That's like, no. Okay. And then, yeah. Almost there. A little bit. Uh, look at that melting that. Uh, I, I love embossing powders. It's, it's just so. Oh, we, we love the Judikins ones because yeah. of the, the quality. And yeah. they don't flatten if you overheat oh. them. They stay, which is That's nice. Okay, mm. so a little bit of shaded lilac. Okay, shaded lilac. Distress oxide. So, mm -hmm. take my sponge. Okay. And then we're just going to, this is cool down, just go in gently from the side. Yeah. Oh, oh. So, yeah, you can that's see. That's gorgeous. I love this colour. Well, our... Yeah. <laughs> and, of course, you, you are using the blending tools, of course. We do have got those ones. They come in a little case as well. Uh, now, you are getting two of the blending tool and one... Uh, uh, Right, so what you are getting is the tool, ca the tool case, <laughs> and then you, you don't you get in, and then you are getting four, eight, four eight, handles, four handles, yeah, okay, eight foams, uh, five mini ink blending tools, and twelve uh, blending foams. That's correct. Okay. Right? Yeah, they can look on the website. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that was. I don't know. And aside kind of the picture did say show a little bit less, but my producer oh, was telling me, so on. that's just why to kind of. So I always wipe off afterwards because yeah. sometimes the ink sits on yeah. top of the embossing, okay. so then you've got that nice contrast there. But what I've done is I've left a blank area oh. in the middle for Jessie. Oh, Jessie. So we'll just pop that aside. Jessie with the jar. Jessie with the jar, yes. Yeah. With a jar of treats. Yeah, treats, and it's just a sticker of the moth. It's not, it's not, it's not. Or maybe she's just taking the moth. Maybe it's her she's, pet. She's releasing like it into me. the wild. Me. Like you. Maybe it's like, like you. It's just like you. You have, yeah. It's just, yeah. It's like. Okay, that's mm -hmm. fine. Jessie, and uh, this time I'm going to stamp on some vellum. Okay. So we're going to pop Jessie in okay. the middle of the vellum. Okay. All right. Pick it up. And then I'm just going to stamp her in black. Now, again, because okay. there is so many little, oh, yeah. tiny details, yeah. I would 
recommend the hingy thing. The hingy thing. Yeah. A stand, pla a, a stand press platform. What do you call it? <laughs> the hingy thing. A stand thing, press thing. Thing. A stand, Hey, you know. A stand. I'll convert you by the yeah, end. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, the H1 has got its own name. I, uh, you know, and each it's funny because yeah. I used to have a. Uh, you remember Quick Cuts? That had oh, that yes. kind of the letter press system that I was with. That was in two thousand and eight, nine. Um, no, I just had in my sorry, sorry. That, that's why I look. It's because my my two thousand and eight, and I said two thousand and eight. <laughs> And my face went like because my director said she I wasn't was born. Oh, I was she eight was, years oh, she was old. alive, <laughs> and I was already on, on you know. Uh, <laughs> she put you off your your, your flow then. Okay, no. so a quick heat set. Now I've done it on the vellum because I'm not a colorist. I'm not very good with the alcohol pens. I can just do little mm -hmm. bits. So the easiest way for me to color mm. um. is on the back of the vellum. Okay, and I can use mm. the stronger. Yeah colors and I don't have to worry too much about mm. the shading yeah. mm. okay whereas you've got we yeah. had some very talented people color samples for us yeah they okay. sat there for I don't know how many yeah. hours I know and then you color it on the back of on the, the back yeah. yeah so when you turn it over you have got you've that got the nice mm. soft yeah and of course that of means color. that if you you don't have to be as carefully coloring in because the lines are not going to contaminate, you know. Them. That's right, yeah. So the, the line, and yeah. there's so much detail that I don't think... Yeah. Well, you could change the different bits. Is that mm -hmm. her flesh? Is that her, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's lots of options. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. While I'm coming, do you want to bring some more samples yeah. over? We could. Yeah, we are going to show a few more of Jessie with the jar, of course. Um, and I think she's quite cute. I mean, is, is she kind of saying, oh, look at that. She's look, look what I found. Look what I found. <laughs> Would you like some? Or she could be trick-or-treating. Please put sweets yes. in my jar. Otherwise, I will go and steal moths. Mm. Yes, look. And then you can see this. I was just wondering, you know, you know um, those. I'm, I'm thinking also. You know those ones that they light up. What are those Fireflies. Called? Fireflies. So she's captured a firefly, just you know, trying to catch her and fly it, and then she's letting it free as she should. Look at that. Have you seen fireflies? They're tiny. Yes, yes, I. I They're I, amazing, I, aren't they? Yeah, I remember the first time in in, and I was about fourteen. I think I was in America. I saw them. Yeah. They were. They are just. So yeah, it's like shooting the stars, but at this level, right? It's just <laughs> kind of magical, yeah. Yeah. So you can color onto the vellum with your different pens, yeah. or okay. These are a pigment pens, but and you can see I'm not being very careful. <laughs> oh, that's a darker one, but okay. Two tone. Okay. Let's shade in a bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, look at that. And of course, you could use other types of colouring methods for... Yes. Yeah. I mean, you could just sponge on ink with yeah. your oxides. And oh, yeah. That could be quite cool. Yeah. So, when I, I need to colour her hair. Okay. But then she's going to go on top uh -huh, of that. Shall I, uh, shall I let, let you colour the, her the hair? Yeah. And and the here's, here's a different colour version oh, I did. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I know, that's the one. Oh, that was quick. Magical, magical. Sorry, well, okay. I can finish this one while yeah. you're with Vicky and oh, then I'll show you later. Uh, but this perfect. is one I made earlier. Perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, of course, it was, if you want Jesse with jar, cling a stamp, the diesel sour on the screen. 11 99 is your price. Of course, you can just ahead to the website and have a look at closely at other items including that eclipse masking tape now of course there is 10 uh, 10 uh, meters in there look at those five star reviews that you have got in there now of course you have got all the different uh, you know reviews from different uh, customer happy customers great product this brilliant does not mar the paper when removing that's a very important part point as well really handy product to have in your stash and so easy to use any of those ones could have been ones that um, you know somebody like well there are people who have purchased the product and have 
fallen in love so much that they have left a reviews of five star reviews. So that is what how gorgeous this product is. Uh, now, of course, uh, Stamp Addicts brings us amazing quality rubber stamps, deeply edged and beautifully commissioned artwork by different artists, including the uh, Jesse with the Jar by Sherry West. Of course, is the American based in the USA, but has got the beautiful artwork in here that you can see that Stamp Addicts manufacture in house and they have got the cling foam mounted. And then, of course, you can just attach to your acrylic block or a stamp press or clingy thing or a hangy thing or whatever it is that you call them. 220578 is your item number. 11 pounds and 99 pence is the price for Jesse with Jar. And of course, you know, I, I kind of love, now look, uh, look at that, how gorgeous it is there. You don't see that, I love. Now, whether you're coloring in with pencils, whether you're using your oxides, whether you're using watercolor markers, whether you are using alcohol markers, it's up to you, your the effects will be depending on that. Then we are moving on to Harmony, apparently. Uh, Harmony is that beautiful fairy in here that you have got. I, I love her because I think it's something very innocent about this fairy. It's something very romantic and kind of whimsical, but at the same time, kind of realistic. And I love all these qualities. Of course, you can, like Irene has made this card, gorgeous here, you can see, um, you know, with alcohol markers. You can put it into larger sets of uh, cards, uh, maybe this is an eight by eight sort of size. And you can see how you can change the color of the hair. What about into smaller cards? And this is kind of, you know, what is she thinking? Is she sending her thank you? Look at that. And then different uh, romantic uh, fragrance in there. And uh, look, dare to dream. Perfect sentiment for this gorgeous card. 406669 is your item number. 11 pounds 99 for that rubber stamp with the beautiful cling uh, uh, foam and the bag. So you can attach it directly into your uh, acrylic blocks or stamp platforms. Now, the Vintage Anglers is one of the most popular stamps, of course, of the hours. That beautiful artwork by Terry Sherman, the Scottish artist in uh, Stamp Addicts um, collection. And you can see the a beautiful great rubber. And then, of course, the impressions are absolutely beautiful. You can see in there how gorgeous is it. And it's just, I love how it, you know, there are scenes within the scene. You could trim them up and then just kind of highlight them, a spotlight in them as well. A stamp with this dress, maybe vintage photo or something like that. And then just blend those lines with water, creating like a vintage, um, you know, imprint from an old book. And look at that, a stamping and a coloring in to a drink plastic. And it becomes like a, a glass stain um, painting. I want to show you this one as well. Alcohol whole inks on the background and it's just that kind of vibrancy of the uh, sunset 758342 is your item number it's 13 pounds and 99 pence is your price now then we have got the lace background in here which is absolutely glorious i love this is probably my top favorite although i do love the vintage anglers as well now i love it because it is a large size it's a very detailed and it gives you that background that you can have very romantic very feminine but you can see it in here and then you can have got maybe stamp over um, alcohol inks as Vicky has done here. Maybe use your watercolors after stamping and embossing and it creates a perfect backdrop for those beautiful roses. A very feminine ethereal nature of course is the proper lace but what about using your oxides and then blending spritzing a little bit of water making it a little bit more of a distressed background. But look simplicity itself how stunning is that a stamp with distressed oxides sides and just put the stamp as sentiment on the top and there you have it a perfect card to send and to say thank you 387656 is your item number 12 pounds and 99 pence now of course we have got the rose option here for you or rosa or rosa if it's your Spanish, Rosa. Uh, now you are getting two Rosas. Um, you are getting the large, uh, large uh, Rosa and the small Rosa. Roses, ro ro roses, roses. That's the correct way, isn't it? Uh, now, of course, you are getting the gorgeous. And you can see how it's uh, so useful to have both sizes because you sometimes you want a little one for the corner and a stunning bunch, little bunch in here. A stamp on rice paper. Look how gorgeous that looks. And stamp and embossing. 
and of course it creates then kind of use water brushes around the edges and then it frays. I think that's how it's done. Um, I, I think so. Okay. Anyway, a stamp and the, the last three largest and I absolutely adore the same. I think this is kind of like Vicky was showing, masking those, those, those beautiful flowers and then you can see in there change a little bit of the color and everything transforms it five six three six zero six is your item number 12 pounds of 49 pence is your item number and then we have got of course the storage um the blending uh, blending tool a storage set of two you're gonna get two of them of course yours will be you you are not gonna get the blending tools or the painted ones so you are gonna get sorry something like this and you're getting a set of so of course in not painted it are going to be naked as I call it a naked MDF so then you can colorize and paint it in any color you want it and of course you can see how beautifully the blending tools will fit inside it so you can access them all completely perfectly whichever one you want to 12 pounds and 99 for a set of two eight eight nine zero six six is your item number now of course if you want to know we sometimes we mention that you can kind of spread the cost of some items and it is a great way of spreading the cost now here is Leone to tell you a bit more about flexi order flexi order has arrived at her chanda what is flexi order when you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. And of course that's spreading because it does make it easy. Now what are you going to be do doing? So we've got some glossy card, okay. this is you pay this yeah. one. We're going to do an alcohol background. Ooh, we, Just we'll make it a bit of a yeah, mess I mean, really, yeah. have a bit of a play around. Everyone's been blowing the alcohol ink so I thought I'd give that a go. Yeah. It's funny how so. things come back in fashion and now everybody's going back to alcohol yeah, ink. Well, you know. So I'm just starting with some of the blending yep. solution. Of course, um, we had um, um, Joe from the Glass Hat yesterday with non-toxic alcohol inks as well. So do have that a That would probably watch. be a lot better than yeah, these, yeah, yes. It's like <laughs> well, it, 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 I mean, these ones, of course, just be careful with al anything that is um, alcohol. Please read the, always the labels. But, I mean, these ones for... Um, and some people prefer to use um, gloves and stuff like that. But yes. Yeah. But see, the blowing is quite difficult. You could use a straw, yeah. but you... You won't, there's the risk of breathing yeah. in more yeah. of the alcohol so just going to add a little bit more blending on there so what I found yeah is my balloon pump oh with my daughter's birthday coming up I had it handy ah. so we can just move the car around I so yeah, I was just playing around. Having See, fun. I have not um, from. I kind of I like photography, and, mm -hmm. and I had a like a, a photographer's, um, you know, like oh, the little puffer blower. Yeah, 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 that would so be perfect. Yeah, that would, yeah, that would. I didn't have one of those. Yeah, I've got one of those. Oh yes. <laughs> well, that works really well. Yeah. yeah. Well, I had the I balloon pump yeah, handy exactly. for the balloons. Well, so. I love that. So I'm going to add a little bit of green on there. There we go. Not a lot of control oh. with this one. You could use little droplets and just yeah. drop it neatly where you like. And of course, you're using different manufacturers, alcohol inks, and they all work really well. Oh, yeah. look at that. All the different types do work together. I'm just going to give that a little blow around. Look at that. Just to spread oh. it a little bit. See, I have got a bunch of alcohol inks, and I just need to go and create backgrounds, don't I? Yeah. Yeah, so. Bruce wanted to move it yeah. before, but couldn't really. So the air is brilliant brilliant idea. Yeah. So that's going to take a little while to dry. So yeah. I'm just going to sit that over Let there. Let it dry. And I've got one that's yeah. already dry. Oh, it's a bit wet under there as well. Well, it does I mean, get everywhere, doesn't it? <laughs> but it's crafting. I don't think, you know, nobody 
mean so much. No, no. Uh, we are all crafters. And so here's one oh. that I did before that's all nice and dry. Yeah, nice. Yeah, using the um, blending solution, it does take a little yeah. while, but not too long. Yeah. So I've got our angle as seen in here. Yeah. And mm. which way do I want? I want the blue up the yeah. top there. That's it. Yeah. There we go. Mm. Then I am using my archival. I do find this best when you're stamping okay. over the alcohol inks because yeah. it's a shiny surface and alcohol. So you would use archival for this and not a stays on? Yes. Yeah, um, stays on is alcohol based. Yeah. Whereas the archival is oil based, so oh, it sits on the surface nicely. Yes. Okay. Your water base should sit on the top, but they may not dry because of the type of Got glossy it. paper. Yeah. So it's just play around with some little yeah. bits really but I know the archiver works really well so I'm sticking with that one okay so probably need a couple of yeah a, a hybrid bit more. would work as well because a hybrid is is um, um yes yeah well it actually our archival is a hybrid yeah so archival yeah. is a hybrid mm -hmm. I did try another one I had to heat set it oh, whereas okay. this one dried quite quickly oh, okay. yeah that's a good so point. it was just my choice yeah, to yeah. use this yeah. but yeah lots would Lots of different ones yeah. work if you've got time to let them dry. Yeah. So I think they've got a good covering this time. Oh, oh yeah. that looks that nice there, doesn't it? Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. Let's take that one out. <gasps> Could you? A I stamp? do just leave the paper in there for when the dirty stamp's ah, in there. Just because I'm not changing mine all the time yeah. at the moment. Oh, could you stamp mm -hmm. first and then use the alcohol inks over the top? No, they would cover it. Okay. They would cover over your image. Okay. That's so I've just trimmed this one down. Mm. So, yeah, just trimming off all the edges of that one, just neatly yep. down, and I'll mount that one up. So I've got some black mm -hmm. layering because I stamped in the black, mm -hmm. and then a bit of blue and silver just to really show the colours up. There you go. Mm. Yeah. There we go. Mm. Yeah, oh, that's gorgeous. I love it. That's beautiful. The sky and the good, oh, it's absolutely stunning. If you want to go to Vintage Anglers, uh, the stamp and uh, Diddy does are on the screen. Uh, 758342, uh, £13.99 pounds pounds is your price. Of course, you can see it on the screen, the beautiful grey rubber uh, detail. I just love this scene. It's just, it's just again, another quintessentially uh, British image in there that you can use. Whether it's from Scotland or from the England or from even if it's Wales, it is always really pretty and very a very beautiful image of course it's ring plastic is a one popular item that span addicts brings us here we have got options you have got eight sheets of this ring plastic so you can go for the eight sheets of the clear one you can go in for other options the sanded one so it has got oh, oh, uh, which is the one that I think Sarah is going to be using then you have got the white gold or silver remember if you wanted to have a taster of the, the gold and silver you can go for that option in which you have got four of the gold and four of the uh, of the silver however if you wanted eight of the of the same ones you can actually do that so for instance if you wanted just eight of the silver you go for the previous item now we have got a few oh, how many few minutes nine minutes nine minutes so oh, okay, okay that's all right so yes this is the sand and i'm yeah. stamping on the shiny side okay why's that no. Because I'm going to colour on ah, the other side, um, and as great the stays on is to use on plastic, it's not always great to colour yeah. with in the stays on. So yeah, we okay. we try and do it on the opposite side if possible. I mean, if you use alcohol pens, definitely yeah. has to be on the opposite side. Of course, otherwise it bleeds with it's the stays on because yeah. solvent yeah, and solvent. That's what you use. No. Yeah, yeah, that's what's making us explain it. Yeah, but it is a kind of a, a drier stickier kind yeah. of ink pad yeah. as well so it it takes a bit of getting used to i always think with ink pads the best oh. thing to do i would say is always experiment yourself because yeah. Uh, a lot of the times, like I have got a friend, uh, a couple of friends that are extremely, extremely, uh, you know, experts. For, but everything they have t told me doesn't work for me. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, and yeah. Then it's like, yeah, that works for you, but whatever works for somebody else doesn't mm. mean that. No, you know, so. no, that's right. Vicky, can I steal your stays on? Yeah, I'll, I'll Mine's dried grab up. It. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna grab it. Yeah, you know, we have to re-ink them um, oh. when we we're using they them. They dry very quickly. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's the type of ink yeah. that a that is wetter. There we go. But it's just the best thing for drying on yeah. the plastic. It is. So until they come out with something. Yeah, sorry. And, and the smells. Are yeah, <laughs> the smell, the almond smell. Um, yeah, it is a fast drying solvent based ink. So, yeah. Yeah, it's we've never found one as good. Which yeah, is on, on, yeah. on the shrink. And on the sh you, on, on you know we yeah. do a lot of shrink. Exactly. So we do love mm. our shrink. Uh, it's also on acetate, printable acetate. Yes. Um, some things like, um, I use it for all sorts of things. The other thing I like is if you use uh, acetate through an embossing folder. Oh, yes. And then you just rub the stays on over one side yes. and then you so put on the my, uh, mica powder. Oh. Because it takes a few min minutes, like three to five minutes to dry. Yeah. It has got some stickiness, so you c it will ah. attach the mica into acetate. Yes. So, so if I put that underneath. Yeah. You wow, can see yeah. the, detail. the image, yeah. So I've, I've run out ready. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so I'm going to turn her over. Yeah. And then colour with my. I'm using chalk pencils, but yeah. you could use your alcohol pens. Okay. Um, but with the the chalk pencils, you add the colour, yeah. and then blend, blend it around. And then so it's just will soft. the pastel chalk pencils stay in when you shrink it? Yes, yeah, they stay on there when you shrink it, but also you've got to remember because you can hardly see any yeah. colour that I'm putting on yeah. there because the colour intensifies. Of because course. when they manufacture the shrink, they yeah. take a big roll of plastic and then they yeah. stretch it. Oh, I see. So when we heat it, it's going back to its original size. Oh, I see. But that's why, and then the, so the colour all gets squished together and yeah. it gets stronger. Ah, so that's that's because the pigment, yes. there's more concentration of pigment, therefore that's it appears right. to be darker. Yes. That makes a lot so, of sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. we only found that out recently. We, we, we never realised how... Extreme plastic was made. Yeah. It's fascinating what you it can is. learn at it the is. trade shows. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and it's, it's just, it really, sometimes it's, it's... It doesn't matter how long or how little, how, how short time you have been in the industry or what, or stamping or crafting. You know, you can learn so much and there is always something so oh, to learn. We have had something. an email actually. Uh, Steve is <laughs> loving all the new stamps. Hello, Steve. Hi, Steve. And of course, uh, he's looking forward to seeing both of you as a stamp rama yep, next Sunday. Yes. Uh, on the, yep. It's coming around quickly already. Yeah, well, it, life goes so quickly. I didn't mean it. It's just everything is like, ooh, Valentine's Day. Then it's going to be Easter. And then it's going to be, you know. And no. then, of course, you are going to be running uh, Ali Pali in August. Yes, yeah. craft drama at yeah. Ali Pali. <laughs> I'm very excited about yes. it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's going to be it's a bit different to Stamparama. We'll have yeah. more variety in crafts mm -hmm. and it's going to be bigger. Mm -hmm. So it's on for a whole weekend. Okay. So, book book your hotel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I love that venue as well. It's just kind of different, isn't it? Yeah, it, it was mm. local for us as when we were growing up. Yeah. Oh, I see. So, ice skating on a on a Sunday, mm. just get the bus down there. Yeah. Yeah. So That's we got the one is one of the best views of London as well. Oh, like it's hell, amazing! Yeah. Especially in the summer, you sit there with an ice cream. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Looking at London. Or rolling down the hill. That's oh, what we used to yeah. do. <laughs> as, as kids, that's what you did. You rolled down the hill. Yeah. I wouldn't do it now. I think I bought my first uh, cutting mat uh, there, and it was a massive one. I still have got it, of course. I don't throw it. Well, I throw. it's very hard for me to throw things no, away. No. But you could um, share them with another crafter. That's what I do. <laughs> um, yeah. I, yeah. So. Uh, so. Look, of course, uh, oh, the mm. Harmony Clean Stamp is the one that Sarah is using here. But I wanted to remind you of the Rose Stamp, of course, that we have got here on. And look at that. I just love those ones. They yeah, are. Indeed. There's so much detail in them. It is. Now, of course, we are going to show you exactly uh, what you are getting. So you are getting, remember, grey rubber stamps in here, clean foam mounted, ready to use. Do you trim a little bit around these stamps? I would recommend yeah. that people trim them before they use them. So mm -hmm. as close as you can to the design without yeah. touching Tain the design. The yeah. Because yeah. Uh, then you've got less chance of over-inking and yeah. getting edges. Okay. Some people you'd use a knife. Yeah. 
So right. remember to check out your baskets, whichever uh, uh, you know item you have got. Remember that they do. Um, you know, do, uh, when when are you back? Uh, oh. Um, next month. Next month. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We're, we're in every month. Oh yeah. We're booked and up until the summer. Oh good. So, yeah. And then we go on holiday. Oh good. <laughs> good. Good. Thank goodness you're getting a holiday. After Ali Pali. Oh nice. I think we're gonna right. we're gonna need it. Yeah. Okay. okay. So she's yeah. done. Yeah. Oh, I'm turn her back oh, over. Oh, I love love. It looks like a. So I'm gonna use my anti-static uh, yeah. bag because she's got wings. You know, little oh. little bits. This just helps. To stop them from sticking together because okay, yeah. that's not yeah. we don't want that to happen yeah. and okay. she's quite big so start from a distance so we can get a kind of an even temperature yeah so will we run out of time before we might run out of time yeah, yeah. before we get there two and a half minutes we have oh that's okay yeah we should be fine so she looks quite pasty right now yeah <laughs> it is like, uh, and then but here we go so, I remember the first time we did this on TV, it was with a giant butterfly. Wow. Brave. Yeah, that was everyone's reaction. Yeah. It was it's a wow, like, because it curled in yeah, oh, and then it came back out oh, again. Oh, at least it came out again. Yeah. Out so it was like it was coming to life. Yeah, okay. So she's, she's okay. looking a bit deformed at the minute, but oh. she's still moving. And, and while it's still moving, it's still shrinking. Yeah. When it stops moving, yeah. is when it's done. Yeah. So she's nearly there. And we want her flat. So I've got a nice big acrylic block and I'm just going to place it on top. Yeah, so that's, we will make sure that it's, it's completely flat. flat. Yes, you don't want to squish it because you might... <laughs> you might <laughs> yeah. deform. You might, yes. you might. So then we just brush off the, the anti-static powder. Of course, yeah. oh, and then suddenly, it's, it's almost like glass painting, isn't it? It is, so I've done a white oh, lace on craft that card. looks good. And then we're gonna just pop her. That looks amazing. On top. Oh, look at that. How could, uh, of course, Harmony is the uh, stamp that, um, you know, the beautiful fairy, the details are at the bottom of the screen. If you want the lace a background, the details are on the left of your screen. These are joy dots. Ah. The joy sticky dots, they're yeah. strong enough for shrink plastic. Oh, good. So so. Now, of course, uh, Vicky, come in, in because we have got seconds to fit the end of the show. Remember to check out those baskets for any of the items on the show, especially that the clips tape, a mask tape, or the rose um, stamps. Whichever items you have got your eyes on, do check out those baskets because that's the only way that you know that you are going to get them. Of course, Sarah and Vicky, we are going to see you. Well, they are going to Parama uh, in yes. Stevenage um, yep. next Sunday. Next Sunday, yeah. 16. Yeah. So, and there's a lot of make and takes. Remember, uh, Joe Channon is going to be there. Dianas is going to be there. So please do you have a go. Go to, go to there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank Thank you. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. Uh, and I, of course, we will see you very soon.